have been in Washington all this week. And that is a gross understatement. And while they witnessed a great deal of political discord, today they will also see Congress reach a historic bipartisan agreement to reopen the government and avert a default on the nation's bills. The compromise we reached will provide our economy with the stability it desperately needs. It's never easy for two sides to reach consensus. It's really hard, sometimes harder than others. This time was really hard. But after weeks spent facing off across a partisan divide that often seemed too wide to cross, our country came to the brink of a disaster. But in the end, political adversaries set aside their differences and disagreements to prevent that disaster. This legislation also funds the government through January 15th and averts default through February 7th, during which time we can work toward a long-term budget agreement that prevents these frequent crises. And perhaps most importantly, this legislation ends a standoff to ground the work of Washington to a halt this fall. There's a lot more we need to do to get our nation's fiscal house in order. Hopefully, once we've gotten past the drama of the moment, we can get to work on it. But for now, let's not understate the importance of the Budget Control Act or the importance of the fight to preserve it. This legislation is the largest spending reduction bill of the last quarter century and the largest deficit reduction bill since 1981 that didn't include a tax hike. Preserving this law is critically important to the future of our country. Throughout this debate, the public has rightly focused on Obamacare for good reason. This law is ravaging our economy, killing jobs, driving up premiums, and driving people off the health care plans they have and like in droves. Its, it's disastrous rollout is a sign of even worse things to come. And the refusal to delay it reflects a kind of stubborn ideological obsession that will do untold damage to our country. And Republicans remain determined to repeal this terrible law. But for today, for today, the relief we hope for is to reopen the government, avoid default, and protect the historic cuts we achieved under the Budget Control Act. 